Hi guys, it's Jamie here and I'm back with the full deck challenge 2 and it's card 2. I am a little behind on this challenge but I'm still taking part. The prompts are, if I remember them all, texture paste and stencils, gold, black spatter, butterfly. So I'm throwing down one ply of tissue paper which already has a texture to it admittedly. And I'm going to cover that and it will wrinkle a little bit. Because you don't have to use all the prompts, I may not use stencil because I have an idea in mind and it's only a small surface and I don't think I can get everything on there that I would involve a stencil as well. To make my texture paste, I use Plaster of Paris, which is available very cheap on the internet. You can use baby powder. And I roughly mix that with the same amount of PVA glue and then you mix it if when you're mixing it it doesn't seem loose enough that's when you're going to add a bit more glue if it seems too loose you're going to add a bit more powder this probably needs a little bit more glue let's try this just going to create a very plaster texture because that's what I want to do. That's why I didn't want to use a stencil. And you can see I've made up way too much texture paste to do just that. You can cover that with cling film, plastic wrap, sarian wrap, whatever you call it. And it will keep. Or if you've got a lid, that's a takeaway container. So I don't think we've got a lid for it. We might have. I feel like a plasterer now. I have no DIY skills whatsoever. It takes a little while to dry, but it is dry. It's actually quite soft as a texture paste. Next thing I'm going to do is add some vintage photo. But I do actually want to get in between it as well. Right, I'm not very happy with that, I have to say not really the look I was looking for. I'm going to throw a bit more napkin over it. This should spread it out anyway. Adding some wet to distress oxide. And I've got some stained napkin. And what I will do, even though there's texture paste on here, is I'm going to create some layers of tear as well. So we'll go with that one first. Next layer, quickly throw this down. Shall add another layer on top of here. And maybe a final layer. Where I've got this white, I'm going to add some white guess so and just make that a little stronger and I have a feeling that adding black splatter might ruin that what I might do instead is splatter some coffee or spray some coffee over it and run that around. It's my equivalent of black splatter. What I am okay with doing is taking some black ink, adding a drop in this corner. Add a tiny bit more. Then I'll get some stays on black ink and go around the edges with that. Some framing the card. So you still have the brown on there and now we're just going around with a bit of black and where the ink is, where the black ink is, we're going to just put a bit more black to it. That's my black splatter. I know it's not quite splatter. The other thing was to do some gold. I have some gold leaf. Throw some glue down, grab the gold leaf work that through. What do we feel? 
yeah i think that's I think that's good so far this seems very samey color but i'm going to grab a little bit more of the gesso and a bit more through that center bit right, dry that off or lift it in places and create a bit more interest that side let that dry in situ so no chasing around with an air gun while that's drying i'm going to cut those wings out stick all of this onto white card and then cut a white board around the whole lot child with the wings i've also got this tiniest little bit of scrap and i'm wondering about popping that at the bottom maybe slightly at an angle just to add a bit more interest to that area that is the piece complete if you have enjoyed this altered playing card challenge please give the video a thumbs up it really does help with the old youtube and pushing this channel out to more people and that is a free way to support the videos that i do on this channel as is subscribing and letting me know what you think of this in the comments and I will see you next time.